Have a look at your hands now. Can I get this pillow out from behind you, please? Inspect the tips of the fingers for tar staining, which is seen in heavy smokers, and for leukonychia, or white nails, which can be seen in malnutrition and renal failure. Can you lift your hands up in the air a little bit, please? Ask the patient to raise their hands and look across the nail beds for loss of angle. Check for fluctuance of the nail bed. And could you put your two fingers together like this, please? Just see if there's a little space between them. To perform Shamrat's test, ask the patient to oppose the nails of the index fingers of each hand. Look for light at the nail bed between the two nails. And can I get you to turn them over, please? Examine for stigmata of anemia, such as general pallor, palmar crease pallor, delayed capillary refill, coilonychia or spoon-shaped nails. Look at the palms of the hands for palmar erythema, which can be seen in both hepatic and renal failure. Also look for Duputrin's contracture of the palmar fascia. The hands may show signs of sclerosis, such as swelling of the fingers, sclerodactyly, ulcers or loss of bulk of the finger pads, or Raynaud's phenomenon. Okay. Could I get you to put your hands out like this? Cock your wrist back as if you're trying to stop a bus. Ask the patient to raise both hands out in front of them as if they are trying to stop a bus. Observe for 30 seconds and note any flapping tremor around the wrist joints. This may be seen in liver or renal failure, as well as electrolyte disturbances in certain drugs, including alcohol. Look closer at the arms for scratch marks, bruising, petechiae and muscle wasting. Okay, thank you very much.